Good day, students! Welcome to our Week 3 Life Class Daily Devotionals. Stay tuned! Welcome sa ating Life Class Devotion, Day 20. Again, this is your Ate Angie, and let's start with a prayer. Oh, Holy Spirit, or Jesus Christ, thank you for another day na sama-sama kaming makikinig sa iyong salita, Panginoon. Lord, as we go to your devotion, Panginoon, hayaan mo nga po na ibukas mo, iprepare mo po yung puso namin, yung isip namin, Panginoon, sa panibagong salita na aming matututunan. Lord, as we are in the process of being born again, Panginoon, hayaan mo nga pong nakabantay sa amin ang aming, sa aming, ang aming Holy, ang Holy Spirit para uh, maproteksyonan kami against our evil or uh, sa aming kaalaban, Panginoon. Lord, we ask for this guidance and for your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ayan. So, today, sa ating day, day, day 20 devotion, we are going to talk about Born of the Spirit. And I know, narinig nyo na tong verse na to kahapon, pero basahin uli natin siya. This is a verse from John 3, verse 8. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with, so it is with everyone born of the Spirit. So, beginning birth or having a um, beginning a birth from um, this Holy Spirit it also gives us an opportunity to begin anew um, syempre nakasanayan natin na, kung nakasanayan natin yung mga mas maling gawi or nakasanayan natin yung uh, gumawa ng maliliit na purposes or maliliit na bagay this time when you are born again kailangan natin magkaroon ng new purpose. Kailangan natin, of course, before a new purpose is yung new nature natin. So, from your old nature, papalitan natin siya ng new nature, a new character, ng bagong identity, and at the same time, new affections and principles in life. Kung matatandaan natin, the first step for us to be coming or to, to grow into that Holy Spirit is that kailangan natin ng um, physical birth. That's the first step. Pero hindi natatapos doon kasi nga, the second step is being born into the Holy Spirit. And during the first step, when we are born into this world, nasa-shape yung, um, yung pagkatao natin with the way the world um, is being uh, honed by the evil. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa-shape yung ugali natin, nasa-shape yung um, kasalanan natin dahil sa exposure natin sa kamunduhan. And, that's something na tinalikuran na natin when we are here being born again. And, the major change takes place by the power of the Holy Spirit in the heart of the sinner. So kahit na sinner ka, kahit na iyon yung gawain mo dati, a major transformation will happen if you allow the Holy Spirit to take place in your heart. This means that something hap that something great is going to happen. Naalala niyo yung story nung kay Janet, di ba yung sa kapatid niya si Lori, na iyak siya kasi grabe sobrang dami niyang na miss na magagandang bagay. And it's the same thing. If you allow the Holy Spirit to come into your heart, a lot of transformation and great things will happen as well in your life. That is always, that's, oh, it's going to be in your favor. Again, the wind blows wherever it pleases, diba? And God directs it. The Spirit dispenses its influences where, when, or on whom. And what the measure, and with what measure and degree he pleases. So, di ba? Kung nagsimula ka ng itanim yon, simula nung napakinggan mo yung pagtatanim nung seed na yon sa puso mo, sigurado kahit na pang day 21 pa lang natin ngayon, bonggang bongga na yung transformation at nakikita mong change sa buhay mo. Paul even explained that, um, that Jesus is the second Adam. Kasi di ba my first Adam. So, the first Adam, yun yung living being. And the last Adam is the life-giving spirit. 
Diba? So, yung first Adam is yung makasalanan nating sarili. And the second Adam is the life-giving spirit. He was speaking about the nature that must die. Okay? So, hindi naman literal or physical death yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. We're talking about death of your old self and bo- birth of your new self. And the nature that needs to come into life again out from your old self or old nature. When Jesus rose from the grave, He was given the right to give the life to all He believed in Him. So, nung nabuhay uli si Kristo, nagkaroon siya ng kakayanan at ng karapatan na ibigay yung buhay na yun sa mga taong naniniwala sa Kanya. Given that His Spirit gave us life and He is the one who lives in us. We too have the power to release the life through the Word of God. We are called to be like Him in the world. So, wag mong maliitin yung sarili mo. Um, kasi again, it all starts by hearing the Word. And by hearing the Word, mag-grow yung faith natin. And if you're able to increase that faith, and if you're able to regain your sight, you will have the ability to release life through the Word of God. So kung dati, sinosolo-solo mo lang yung salita ng Diyos, after this, malamang niya, nasi-share mo na yan, and you too can help other people transpa- uh, tra- you know, uh, transform to a new life. Just as a child, um, share ko lang dito ulit ha, sabi kasi dito, just as a uh, child picks up habits and expressions from their parents. Kasi nga, di ba sabi nila, kung just like, na, ano, kung, ano ba yun, ano, uh, Uh, kung ano yung anak, yun din yung nanay. Kung ano yung ugali ng tatay, yun din yung ugali ng anak. Na, namimirror, kumbaga, yung, kung ano yung gawin ng magulang, nagre-reflect siya sa anak niya kasi ano, yun yung nakikita niya, di ba? And it's the same as with the nature of our Heavenly Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Paul said. Just as we have borne im- uh, the image of the earthly man, so shall bear the image of the he- heavenly man. Um, nung in a rest, to si Jesus nung gabi na yun. And people actually started asking Peter, sabi, um, di ba follower ka ni Jesus? Peter has been trying so hard uh, na i-hide niya yung identity niya. Hina-hide niya yung uh, sarili niya na hindi, hindi ako yung follower ni Jesus. But because um, Jesus is his father, right? Uh, nakopya niya yung gawin niya at hindi niya natago yun. It was very hard for him to hide who he was because his accent was incredibly similar to that of the teacher. And that, that can be found in Matthew 26 verse 73. Same with Paul on his way to Damascus to persecute Christians. The Lord appeared to him and said, why do you pre- persecute me? So, pangalawang beses na natin narinig tong story na to ni Paul sa week na to. Uh, why do you persecute me? Jesus was identifying himself with those who had decided to serve him and who were being persecuted. So, kahit na dati si Paul nagpe-persecute, na-identify ni Jesus na isa siya sa mag, uh, magiging daan para makilala ng tao si Jesus Christ. And he introduced himself to him. Right? So, uh, another reminder here sa, sa topic natin today is that um, sabi, a perishable, yung mga nabubulok must be covered by non-perishable ng hindi nabubulok. At yung mortal ay kailangan makover ng immortal. Kapag ang perishable o yung nabubulok ay nabalutan ng hindi nabubulok at ang mortal ay nabalutan ng immortality, then what is written will come true. And ano yun? Death has been swallowed up by victory. Grabe no, sobrang powerful ng message na yon, victory. So kung dati yung old self mo, yun yung alam mong nabubulok na yung pag-uugali, uh, mali yung gawe and short ang life, mortal life. When you cover it with the word of God, when you cover it with non-perishable and immortal word of God, then you are going to defeat death with victory. 
And that can be found in Corinthians 5, verse 53 to 54. Yung proseso ng pagpapadali sa your sanctification or is made possible when we understand kapag naintindihan natin yung power ng cross because it's through the cross that the Lord has given us the complete victory over human nature. We are able to die to the flesh and truly Hindi naman natin alam mo yun hindi naman talaga required na ikaw yung magpasa ng cross, mag um yung saktan mo yung sarili mo for you to understand or to realize what was the pain or what Jesus Christ have gone through doon sa kalbaryo ng cross. Diba? Um, it is actually by reading the Bible, you will be able to see or you will experience the death to the flesh and truly feel what Jesus felt on the cross. And you will be able to live you are going to be able to live a renewed life pag naranasan mo yun. And again, God has given you that victory to win over death because His life absorbs the power of death first spiritually and then physically. Grabe. Salamat po sa napakagandang mensahe ngayon. Grabe. Um, so, dito makikita natin na kapag binalot natin yung sarili natin sa holiness, sa Holy Spirit, by the Word of God, it gives us an assurance that perishable become um, unperishable and mortal become immortal and that you are going to win over death and claim that victory that was promised to you by God. Let's live the, uh, let's live the lesson. Okay, so dito, uh, meron tayong provided na verse which is from John uh, chapter 3 verse uh, 5 to 8. So, babasahin ko. Jesus answered, very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it blows or wherever it pleases. You hear its sound. But you cannot tell where it is coming from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Holy Spirit. So ngayon, kapatid, narinig mo to, sagutan mo ha, yung one, two, three. So one, when we are born again, we have access to er enter into. fill out na lang yan. Number two, the only way to be born again is through fill out, fill the blank. And number three, being born of the, of the Spirit means that you are no longer the one directing your own life. And you depend completely on the direction of the Holy Spirit instead. What will you do this week to help you depend on Him completely? Okay. So, ayan na, simula nung tinanggap natin si Jesus, when we have finally decided to follow Jesus and no turning back, ano, wala na tayo sa, umaasa na lang tayo sa sarili natin. This time, we have the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So, for this week, ano yung gagawin mo to help you depend to Jesus completely? Okay, so pakisagutan nyo na. And remember the lesson that we have for today. The Spirit gives birth to Spirit. The Spirit gives birth to Spirit. So if pinili mo yung Spirit na yan, uh, pinili mo yung muto na yan, na itatanim mo sa puso mo, it will give birth to life of abundance and a life just like Christ. Uh, Christ. Let's study the Word. Siyempre, di mawawala. Um, Please, basahin natin ang Psalm 36, Proverbs 20, Acts 5, and Acts 6. Ayan. Okay, so let's close our prayer. Um, let's close out with a prayer. Ay, Lord, thank you for so, sobrang powerful na promise mo today, Lord. Lord, as we end this day, uh, we would like to carry this word um, among us. And 
Lord, um, ipapakita namin at itataas namin ang iyong pangalan that we are going to be born in this holiness and we have this Holy Spirit alongside of us in everything and every day of our lives, Panginoon. Lord, we thank you for the promise that we won over death and we claim that victory that you have provided, Lord, through your word and your love. We honor you. We lift your name high in Jesus' name. Amen.